Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is another future spouse um, video and we're actually going to be taking a look at the physical appearance of your future spouse. Um, so I did this a while ago with um, a soulmate reading in regards to the physical appearances because you guys had requested it and I always refrain from doing like the physical appearance because obviously, you know, you're all not going to marry the same person. But, um, I was actually quite surprised when I did the soulmate physical appearance one because I got more than just the physical attributes and I was able to kind of like get a feeling of the type of person as well as you know like different hairstyles colored eyes things like that and it actually went down really well so I thought that I would kind of like mimic that with a future spouse one because I know that you guys love um a future spouse readings like I said remember with this reading especially like only take what resonates do not force anything to fit um just take what feels right for you and then leave what doesn't as there's going to be a lot of you with you know different future spouses and I'm just going to basically um speak out everything that comes through um so it's going to be fun so I have four piles for you guys to choose from um pile number one is the pink amethyst geode right here if you guys see like a gray smoky color on my hand it's because i was just burning cinnamon and um i just could not rub it off but there we go um pile number two we have the rose quartz crystal um pile number three we have the honey calcite crystal Pile number three. And then pile number four, we have the Lemurian Quartz. So you guys can choose the crystal that you are most drawn to. I'll give you guys a minute to kind of pause the video and do what you need to do to get in the zone. Um, the timestamps, as always, you guys, are going to be in the description box. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at the physical appearances of your future spouse. Um, so I'm going to start with tarot, see what comes through. I have oracle cards to pull as well. Um, and I also have my cards that like, um, you know, give me little descriptions like coloured eyes and things like that. So we can really get to specifics as much as we can. Um, but like I said in the intro, remember this is a general reading. So not every single piece of information I'm going to give is going to resonate. So only take what resonates and leave for does not and we are going to get in and see who your future spouse is going to be and what they're going to be like and remember i'll probably pick up on other information too um so spirit guides can you tap me into the collective of pile number one that picked the pink amethyst geode um can you let me know um what their future spouse is going to look like any okay straight away i'm being told that your future spouse is going to be quite like uh fit um like i just heard athletic um they may even be into like um you know like olympic stuff or just working out a lot being in the gym i'm really being shown someone that does like cross training like not cross training what's it called are they called like cross runners people that run really far what was it called cross country runners is that what it's called i heard cross something but i can't make out what the word was and i've heard the word before either way there's something to do with running here i keep being taken to if they're a male they're going to have like very muscly legs like even when i began like i was seeing someone with really muscly legs um you know like the calves is that the calves at the bottom yeah that's the calves i should know this i did beauty therapy and skin therapy so i should know all of this i did test on it and i've completely forgotten what parts of the body it is but the legs the legs are going to be very muscly <laughs> it's like that's where they're taking me to so i do feel like they will if they don't do any of that and be in the gym a lot they definitely go for runs a lot this is someone that likes to keep active i feel like they have a lot of energy in their body i'm being shown aries energy that makes kind of a lot of sense they may be like an aries rising um i just have a lot of aries in that chat very outdoorsy and very physical i'm hearing the doja cat song um kiss me more but you know she's taken a sample from the song let's get physical i just shared that so um they're very physical they like to be in their physical body and i'm being told they're going to be very like uh hands-on with you if that makes sense they're going to be very touchy-feely probably into pda it feels or just like like randomly if they're like a female like jumping on you or if they're a male like picking you up it just feels like that they're very like grounded into their physical body like i keep being shown a lot of red energy around them um very into their physical body and quite sensual as well um 
definitely like i'm hearing the beyonce song um can you keep up baby boy if i lose my breath you know that song i'm hearing that i was trying to think of the lyrics but i just heard that Ooh, two cards just jumped out so they literally flopped out as well so i'm gonna use them we have the knight of cups and the devil don't worry about the devil we get into it um but pile one let me lay the tarot first and then we'll we'll get further but this person is very physically active and i just shared that in their bag so with that being said i think they're going to be quite successful um i just shared multiple streams of income so i feel like your future spouse is going to have multiple streams of income you may even go like share a business together or something like that um oh okay six of cups this is definitely a soulmate or it take it as it resonates it could be a soulmate or it could be somebody that you have history with um i more so feel like it's a soulmate to be honest with you okay i'm getting something here um let me just lay the cards and get into it oh why did that fall now i have to get up okay two seconds they're all jumping out in twos though like these two cards just jumped out in twos we have the high priestess and the four of wands um okay this may actually be somebody from your past now if this doesn't resonate and you would not get back with anyone from your past because i get it like i do readings and they're like it's someone from your past and i'm like no they can leave respectfully so if this is someone you like there's people from your past you definitely don't want back don't try and force it to fit this can be like a soulmate from a past life but i just heard that if you are thinking it could be someone from your past or that you have history with i'm actually uh being played the justin bieber song sorry is it too late now to say sorry i don't know that's just what i picked up but i'm gonna get into it pile one pile number one um what does pile number one's future spouse look like i'm also getting the physical attributes like psychically and then the tarot cards are, like giving me a story but i'll uh talk to you about both pile number one what is pile number one's future spouse okay 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 wheel of fortune okay um and we have at the back of the deck justice my ring is falling off okay so i actually just saw with the devil card though it wasn't actually anything like too uh what's the word it wasn't anything too dark like don't worry when i actually looked at the devil card then the energy felt more cheeky it felt like this person's like a daredevil so they may like things that are quite you know, like i said they're outdoorsy they like things that like pump up their adrenaline so they may like skydiving and like bungee jumping and like uh, being out in the sea what are they like ab not that's not abseiling what's it called like kayaking and things i don't know this person seems very outdoorsy and i feel like they're going to want to include you in stuff like that i feel like you're more ethereal is the word spirits telling me to explain but i feel like they're gonna bring you out of your shell like that and get you into your physical body and doing things like that that's just what i'm being shown this person may even be like a fitness trainer um or work in something where it's like outdoors or manage something they keep saying manage like manager so they may be like a manager or something i'm not quite sure um but i want to look at the physical attributes before i get into this because i know that's why you're here so let me just like refrain back a minute spirit can you show me any physical attributes other than the fitness if they're a female they're gonna have like a really nice butt like that's what i'm being shown um very toned like either way they're gonna be very very toned um if they're a female they'll have very long hair if they're a male they'll either have like um long hair that they'll like put up like i'm being shown like the weekend remember when he had his like long hair or like in like a man bun or something like that or like dreads and then i'm being shown like um they may also have like beach waves for some of you like beach wavy long hair like a uh, you know sometimes the princes in the princess movies had like long hair like that it does feel like that there's two types of scenarios but take it how it resonates like what you prefer or what you th may think they would be like but that's what i'm being shown um and as well i'm being shown they'll have very like bushy eyebrows like i'm being shown someone with very bushy eyebrows like if they're a male very bushy and then if they're a female but she in the sense of like Cara Delevingne, uh, that's what I'm being shown. Um, very, it feels sculpted faces. They're taking me to the jaw, like the cheek area. Um, you, like, I wouldn't say it's like a gaunt face, but like, 
it's sculptured <laughs> like it's do you know like when you see models like bella hadid i know she's had surgery and whatnot but you know she has that kind of sculptured cheek look like that's what i'm being taken to male and female like they'll have like a sculptured face and if not they'll have a sculptured jaw for sure because they keep taking me to the bottom of the face um i am being told they'll have really nice teeth um or like a nice smile it may even be just like you're attracted to their mouth area um or it could just be that they have a really nice voice like a seductive voice is the voice that i'm kind of being shown here um they're showing me like a like either a gold cross that somebody's wearing or like a pendant um somebody's wearing on their neck um and funnily enough, you know, I was saying they're like outdoorsy. I was being shown like a, a male and a female like wearing shorts, like, um, you know, like shorts to like run in or like, do you know, like beach shorts, you know, like you see people on the, they're on the beach and they have those like kind of longy type shorts. I just got shown that as well. Um, I feel like you'll be outdoors a lot with this person. I'm actually being shown like two people in a car driving in the sun and then it's like, listening to music like i feel like you'll do a lot of outdoorsy stuff like if you like sceneries and beaches and forests and things like that i see you guys going and doing that if you guys live in like a city or something like that you may get away a lot or go on holiday um especially i'm actually being told yes into your like marriage and stuff i feel like you'll go on holidays especially somewhere where there's lots of sun there's a real beachy vibe here <laughs> that I'm being taken to. You may even live by a beach, I don't know, but that's what I'm being shown. Um, is there anything else like physical course before I get into what the cards are telling me, Spirit? Something about a ring. Someone may wear like a significant style like ring that it, it, it feels more like a male would wear it. It's not that it's not like a marriage ring or an engagement ring or anything like that. It's like they're referencing a ring that would be like um it could be like an amulet type thing or like a crystal ring or like something that holds significance to them or like means something to them. That will probably just be for like one or two of you, but that's what they really wanted to show me there. They may even give you like a promise ring or something like that. That may be what um, I'm being shown. And then they're showing me like a laptop. So again, this person may work from home, work on like a laptop at home. I've actually been shown someone wearing glasses when they use technology or driving. So they may wear glasses or contacts. Um, I'm hearing someone has really nice eyelashes as well. They may have nice eyelashes. Uh, and now I'm being shown a nose piercing for someone. Um, but they, yeah, they may work from home. And they're, they're bringing me back to what I was talking about. They may work from home. Um, but they may research a bit about you or find you online or have an online presence because uh, they keep taking me to the 11th house and they keep showing me a laptop so they may have like an online presence you may meet them online they may research you online it could be something like that they could work you know again from home like managing something from home um is what i'm being shown now with the six of cups and the ten of ones you guys like when i was looking at this because i want to get this bit of information out um you know, I said for some of you guys, if it fits that it could be someone from your past. Um, I don't feel that they would have like hurt you much in the past. It's more so coming through like the connection had a lot of false starts or the connection just fell through. Um, and it never kind of like worked out. And I'm being told that when they come back to you in divine timing, there will be no more of this ten of wands energy. Like you'll be able to kind of come back to each other. If you guys know, like there is no damn way I'm getting one anyone from my past, then this could be in regards to like a past life where in the past there would have been a scenario in a past life where you couldn't be together, like a like a Romeo or Juliet situation. I don't know, but it's something where you couldn't have been together or there was just like a fated a fatal ending or something like that that's actually what i was just told um and it's like you're linking back in this lifetime to finally have that togetherness that you couldn't have before um so whichever one of those two resonates with you um you know you can apply yourself to that but um there was two scenarios that i was being shown in regards to that so take it as it resonates um and with the high priestess and the four of ones i don't know whether you guys have heard the victoria monet song moment but she's singing about like manifesting um someone to you um and you know you're finally in the moment and able to be together and she says the lyrics i've got a feeling that you brought me to you look what your mind's imagination can do those lyrics just played to me when i looked at the high priestess and the four of ones so with that being said i feel like you two are already psychically linked like you two are connected to spirit you more so like 
open in regards to like your crown chakra and third eye they feel spiritual but it's like they're more sagittarius -y, uh physically um uh they believe in the law of attraction but they're more outdoorsy they're more on their body whereas you're like uh third eye crown chakra pisces aquarius cancer energy i'm picking up from you guys bit of libra from you guys as well and um i feel like you you both have got a psychic connection there um you both believe in a lot of the same things i do feel like you're more advanced in regards to what you know in regards to spirituality but there is a psychic link and i feel like um you're both aware even though you haven't met or maybe you know if this is a past connection you have but you're both aware that there is someone that you're meant to be with that is significant that you're going to build with you may have even had this person come through in dreams songs may have just started playing to you randomly or you just had this hearty feeling or you just have always had this idea of someone that you would be with they would have had the same and i feel like it's like a psychic link and you are going to end up together in divine timing uh they don't give me a time frame but they're giving me three months uh they're telling me april july and august um so that could be their birthday your birthday a time that you'd meet or a significant point in the connection and i'm hearing wedding bells so it could be when you get married april july august that's what i'm being told and they're really emphasizing a christmas time so you could meet in a christmas time or um something significant about christmas like i'm being made to feel like um for example when it's christmas time for me me and my friend go shopping and all the music's playing in all the stores and we get all our christmas things and we have like a nice coffee and we can smell you know the outside stalls with the the, the food and i just got shown that image so i feel like you may even meet them in like a christmasy scenario it feels like maybe i don't know it, it could be santa you're sitting on santa's lap like i don't know I, i'm not i'm not quite sure i literally just got shown a grotto so i'm just gonna throw that in who knows but um i don't know you could like be christmas shop and bump into them it could be something like that something to do with christmas maybe your first date could be going out for food around the christmas time um something like that because they're really referencing christmas for some reason i've been showing someone in like a really big like winter coat um and then with the four of pentacles and the wheel of fortune one thing i, I want to say is you both have a lot to give to each other in regards to just your presence and then energy in general and i feel like you are very open to spirit but i feel like you're either lone wolves or you're more like in your head a lot you may be quite introverted um or you just don't jump out of your shell too much or maybe you just don't have a lot of people around you to go and do like crazy things like that i feel like sometimes you tend to overthink maybe um whereas they're not like that and i feel like what they're helping you with as well is like bringing you out of this four pentacles energy maybe you're like, like quite skeptic towards people and don't like to open up so they're here to help you open up and be open to things and just kind of be a bit more like this daredevil um with the wheel of fortune here and i feel like you're here to kind of like ground them and kind of think before they act because i feel like they can be quite impulsive and i feel like you're here to kind of open them up more to spirituality and what they can do because i am hearing that they have psychic gifts um but yeah that's what i'm picking up from the tarot cards and with the justice at the back i'm being told that you two are really going to balance each other out like what you lack in they're very good in and what you're really good at they lack in and you kind of help each other out like that and being shown a cat so i don't know whether you're gonna get a cat together or they have a cat you have a cat i don't know i'm just being shown a little cat looks like a little bengal you know the bengal cats or like the snow leopard cats the tabby cats you know like that type of um fur i just got shown one of those it could just be that they're sitting on your lap while i'm doing the reading but i just got shown that so i'm gonna pull more oracles and then we'll get into the cards uh while we talk about you know more physical attributes and things like that um so pile number one spirit what are the physical attributes for pile number one okay so we have neptune if you can see i just heard the <laughs> i just hear the ariana grande song because she has to come up especially when it's a love read and she likes to come up um i just heard the ariana grande song ram 
um, what she sings, um, Boy, you're such a dream to me. And then she's like, I don't want to wake up, wake up. I think that's like the lyrics. And um, I just shared that. So you may dream about this person or have an idea of what, like, I feel like you manifest each other in. That's how I'm being made to feel. The Victoria Monet song, Moment, and Ariana Grande Ren, they're two very dreamy songs talking about manifestation and dreaming about somebody. So this is definitely something that you've thought about or have an idea about and i feel like they have too um and i feel like those dreams get fulfilled in this connection and i feel like you've i feel like you have not had someone in your life before that has really like gone deep with your emotions like you're a very deep person and you've given your emotions to other people but i just feel like in regards to like a really deep connection i feel like you haven't had one very very deep before where you just like literally feel like two parts of the same soul and i feel like this connection um it's gonna feel like that it's it's gonna be a very deep you're gonna be very emotionally attached like not attached in like a negative way you're gonna be like um you feel sad, they feel sad. You feel happy, they feel happy. There's a deepness there. It's like they could be traveling around the world for like work and they could be angry or something and all of a sudden you feel irritated or they could be sad and then all of a sudden you feel sad. And I'm being told you may even feel that now. You may even like randomly just be like, oh, I feel sad. And you're picking up on their energy and it's because you've had past lives together, I'm being told. So you are psychically connected like that. Um, so one more card and then we'll get into, okay, <laughs> we have Pisces. So with Neptune and Pisces being here, I didn't show you, sorry guys. With Neptune and Pisces being here, obviously like Pisces rules Neptune. So this is a very psychic connection, a very spiritual connection, obviously. Like I feel like you're both romantics at heart, but I feel like you, you're very romantic, but I feel like you've not really found anyone that you felt that you could be like that with. I do feel like you've had karmic connections before that have just kind of like made you feel like love just just doesn't exist so like i give up but this is really going to restore that romantic energy within you and i feel like you have libra somewhere within you because i keep being shown like candlelit dinners and things looking nice and flowers and i keep being shown that i feel like you're you and this person's very into that or you may have not realize you're into it and then they start bringing you flowers and do like romantic dinners like that and you're like oh Oh, I didn't realize I like this. You know what I mean? So it could be something like that, but you're both very romantic, both very like emotionally connected to each other. You're very deep and they're very deep. I don't feel like you found a match for you emotionally yet. Um, this is where you find that. Um, and then funnily enough, I was saying I was picking up Aries energy in the back of the deck. We literally have Aries uh here as well. So um there's definitely Aries in them, maybe for you too. But um, I feel like they're more Aries energy. If I had to put money on it, you would have a lot of water in your chart. You feel like that. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I would maybe say Taurus and Libra for you guys. I would say Aquarius too um, for you guys somewhere. I know that's quite a few, but there's a lot of you watching. And those are the energies I'm picking up for you guys. They feel like fire and earth um and you feel like water and air <laughs> um so even if you don't have like water and air like planets you may have a lot of planets in water and air houses um i'm being told so i'm gonna pull these now and we'll just get like little physical attributes one thing that i will say as well about this person is even though like they do i i'm hearing they smell very nice they make sure they smell very nice they may even buy you like perfumes and stuff like that um they like to look nice, but they're not, like, polished. Like, you know, sometimes when people have a lot of money, they can look quite polished. They don't feel polished, but they feel like... Um, I don't even think they chase designer things. It doesn't even feel like that. They're, like, a natural good-looking. They're very fit and naturally good-looking. Like a taurus -y type of look. Could be a Taurus rising. Um, but that's how I'm picking up about them. But they, they, I feel like they put their money into, you know, like Capricorn energy. They put their, like, um, their energy into, like, building things like houses, having things that are, like, financially, um, something that they can build, like, putting their money into, like, a nice car, um, because it's, like, something that they've worked for. I feel like they do that with their money or, like, invest money and things like that. I don't feel like they care too much for designer things and stuff, but I do feel like they at least come across very presentable 
without all the designery things and i feel like they're just naturally very good looking um pile one what is pile number one's future spouse going to be like they either like drinking tea or coffee um because i just got shown someone drinking tea or coffee you may even go on like a tea or coffee date uh like a starbucks costa date something like that um or that just may be something that you like to do so we have 10 plus years older and i'll take it as it resonates if you don't feel like you want someone that's 10 plus years older let that just drive by um you know this is a general reading but that just popped out what's just popped out oh travel i feel like they're going to be well traveled because like i said there was a sagittarius energy come coming in the sense that they're very into their physical body and I feel like they like to do. That's how they learn and experience. You're more like you embody it. You learn about it. It's this Aquarius Pisces energy for you. But for them, it's like Aries Sag. Like they like to do. They like to physically go out there and see the world. And that's how they, you know, raise their con consciousness and, and learn. You know what I mean? And that's what's coming up um, for that. So they may have been well-traveled or you may travel together. Um, again, they're showing me the beach. So I feel like you may meet them on... You may even meet them on holiday. Or go on a holiday very early on or go traveling very early on, maybe. Or go to a retreat and they'd be there. I don't know. That came through for someone. Money, of course, I did say that. I felt like they're very financially... Like, Spirit told me they're in their bag. Whoa, that just jumped up. We have sensitive. Yeah, you know what? This person actually wears their emotions on their sleeve. I don't feel like you're going to have to worry about, like, what are they thinking? How are they feeling? That like, I'm not picking that up from them at all. I feel like they like you. They tell you. They're happy. They tell you. They're sad. They tell you. They're not afraid to express their emotions. They're open to their feminine side. Um, Because I feel like they're more um divine masculine and how they come across but they're very balanced in their divine masculine and divine feminine and funnily enough i feel like you have always been very divine feminine but when you meet them you're very much balancing out your divine masculine and coming into that and i feel like you're both gonna have very balanced um sides to both and this person is very much gonna put their heart on their sleeve heart on the line for you uh very open with their emotions <laughs> spiritual i said that look at we've got neptune pisces and then we have spiritual we even have the high priestess i felt it and you picked the pink amethyst as well didn't you so that doesn't shock me I'm being shown two people going to a store and like buying crystal necklaces and crystals like two people going in so if you go to a store and there's like crystals and stuff there, you may introduce them to it. Um, past life connection. Yeah, I said that. And I love how it's going over the six of cups. Yeah, definitely a past life connection and glasses. And I said I was seeing them uh, with glasses on when they were driving or uh, using technology. Um, athletic. I literally said, I literally said, oh my God. You know, sometimes the cards amaze me. It should be my gifts that amaze me. But I'm like, whoa, the cards just confirmed that. Yeah, so pretty much what i said they're going to be very athletic very in their physical body uh we have five plus years older now so they may uh be from like five to ten years or you know literally just five years older than you etc um pile you had to just jump on the floor didn't you yeah, we literally have deep but like i said this connection is going to be very deep i feel like you're gonna have very deep chats especially at night like i'm being shown two people sitting on a pillow sitting on a pillow like laying on a bed like head on the pillow like pillow talk and just talking about like really deep stuff i feel like you, i don't know whether you guys have a trouble expressing your emotions to others i don't feel like it's them i, I don't know whether you guys sometimes like it, it takes a while for you to open up and express your emotions but i see like two people like opening up about their past or what they've been through and there's like tears being shed but it's like you're it's such a deep connection like that's what you're doing if you can hear noises guys it's me trying to sit correctly on this chair um but yeah that's what i feel i feel like you two are both going to have no problem expressing your emotions but it may be like um something that you hold in for a hot minute before you actually feel open enough to express your emotions there uh, is what i'm being told um so now we have same age so there we go we have 10 plus years older five plus years older and same age so whatever one resonates for you um i think spirit just wanted to keep it open in regards to age um pile number one final card please spirit um what is pile number one's future spouse oh we have shy i don't feel like they're shy but what i'm actually getting from this card 
they may feel like you're shy when they meet you because I'm almost picking up this energy like they are going to really try to get you out of your shell when they meet you like they are going to put in the work like I feel like I see someone making someone laugh like they're going to do things to try and make you laugh or like try and uh bring you out of your shell or like they'll try and be really silly around you to get you to open up like that um so they may even step towards you quite light-hearted in the beginning they may probably try and step towards you with like how they feel i feel like you may be a cancer rising or something or have some cancer there because i feel like you guys are like in your shell and then you have to kind of like not necessarily be goaded out of your shell but you need to feel safe to come out of the shell not that you are shy because it's not even that you're shy you're just observant and you're like let me feel safe before i come out of this so i feel like they may approach you in this very aries way of like i like you you know you're very attractive let's go on a date like quite like that and i feel like you're just gonna run inside your shell it does feel like that like you're like whoa they may even remind you of someone from your past that was quite open like that and you may be like no 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 and i feel like they realize that so i feel like there may be like a different approach to you where they'll be very light-hearted with you instead of being quite deep and and, and trying to get stuff out of you they'll be quite light-hearted and just try and be your friend and i feel like that's what's then gonna get you to open up and then trust and that's when it's gonna develop because i feel like with shy it's more so they see you like that and i feel like and being made to embody their energy and they're like trying to get you out of your shell that's how it's being made to feel um and then the back of the deck we have health so they're going to be very careful with what they eat what they put in their body very careful um they may even be like a nutritionist or something like that but they're going to be very careful with what they eat and put in uh their body they may even inspire you to eat healthy um unless you both have that in common i'm being told so that is what i have for you guys pal number one i really hope that you enjoyed this and it resonated um hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed and comment down below if you see that little scammer commenting telling you to whatsapp them from for a private reading please report um because that is not me um and i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching well to welcome to your reading so if you guys chose the rose quartz crystal then this is your reading um and we're going to be taking a look at what your future spouse looks like the physical appearance of your future spouse um and always with this read these readings guys i get you know other information as well as that um so i will be giving you other information that comes through as well um and remember this is a general reading so just take what resonates and leave what does not um so i'm going to start with tarot um and channel see what i can get with that and then we're going to move into the oracle cards as well as the cards i created with you know physical attributes and things like that on them so let's get in if you hear a creaky noise it is my chair i'm currently sitting on it awkwardly and it makes noises so i thought i'd just throw that in just in case um so pile number two spirit guides the rose quartz pile um what is pile number two's future spouse's physical attributes pile number two Ooh, ace of cups that's what i like to see in a romantic reading that is what i like to see pile number two I'm going to lay the tarot first. Pile number two. What is pile number two's future spouse's physical attributes? Ooh, queen of swords. Pile number two. What is pile number two's... Okay, I do want to say, like, I know this isn't a physical attribute, but I just want to say this person can't get enough of you or do enough for you, it feels. This person is very for you. They may have Venus in Cancer, I'm being told. Um, pile number two. What is pile number two's future spouse's physical upside down or right side up? okay upside down let's go pile number two knight of cups okay i feel like this person's gonna pursue you for quite a little bit before they step towards you i'm straight away being shown dark hair this person's either gonna have black hair or dark brown hair maybe light brown hair but it's more on the darker spectrum it feels um obviously take what resonates but that's what i'm being shown i feel like they're gonna have dark features um like dark eyes dark eyebrows that's coming through um this person's very intelligent as well i'm seeing somebody very tall um very tall quite muscly but more quite thin they do have muscles though but it's like you know people and they're like very tall and then it's like they still have like muscles 
on like male wise i'm just being shown like a male for a second i will get into female now but it just feels like tall they must lift weights if they're a male because i'm being shown a male specifically lifting weights if it's female that you're asking for i'm actually being sh ah, okay i'm actually being shown they'll still be very tall it feels but they'll have like big breasts gonna keep it pg but you know what i mean they're gonna have big breasts that's what i'm being told but if they're male they're gonna have like pecs like muscles but tall i keep referencing tall 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 keep being told that um like six foot and over for males for sure um pile number two what is pile number two's future spouse going to look like something about the lips as well they have very nice lips something about the lips if they're a female they're going to wear like a pinky lipstick a lot or like a gloss you know the nyx butter gloss if anyone's seen it it's like this light pink glossy uh color that's what it looks like um eight of swords okay this person's gonna be eyeing you up for a while and they're not gonna be able to step towards you for some reason we'll get into it but i want to get the physical attributes from spirit first and then i'll tell you what i'm seeing in the cards because i'm being shown scenarios here so in regards to physical attributes dark features i am being shown that i'm being really shown like a watch or a bracelet uh that they wear um it looks like a watch like a gold watch that they'll wear they do feel like they'll work in a business type of place so i don't know i'm being shown someone that has to dress quite nice they may be like i'm being shown something about like real estate or they may do like sales and stuff like that i'm being shown something with cars they may sell cars um something whether in like an office or an environment where formal wear has to be worn uh that's what i'm being shown because if they're a male they'll definitely have to either wear a suit or just something very smart what are them things called like cuffs you know them cuff things on the sleeves they're like gold you can have i don't know i don't know but i'm i'm being shown that but um and if they're a female for their work they may have to wear heels or just like something like something very formal they have to be very presentable it almost feels like they're selling something like homes clothes maybe perfumes like houses and and cars and that's what i'm being shown so it's funny though because i feel like in regards to like their work they have to play a role where they're very confident but when it comes to you i'm seeing such a shyness like they feel very shy there's Cancer energy coming through here somewhere. Cancer Moon or Cancer Venus. I wouldn't say Cancer Mercury. Because the thing is, this person seems very intelligent. Very intelligent. I don't know why I'm being told they have big hands. <laughs> like, big hands are like long fingers. Like, that's something that just came through. Um, they may wear jewellery too, or just like jewellery. They definitely like the finer things I'm being told. They are into that. Not so much like... It's like an, an ego thing. It's just like that's what they've known so that's what they do like they've always been maybe they came from like a wealthy family because i'm being told that's what they've always kind of known to wear things like that or splurge on the finer things because i feel like they have no problem making money and they're very good with money so they don't mind spending it here and there and i feel like when they're with you i do want to kind of say you either be like set for life or like they're really gonna spoil you or like you're gonna be good with this person they're very financially like okay um very giving as well like very very they keep showing me cancer energy very nurturing um can you show me anything else with a physical okay <laughs> if they're a male they're going to be a nice size downstairs i'm gonna keep it pg but that's what i'm being told um like you're not going to be disappointed um uh what else am i being shown i feel like they eat quite clean as well i keep being shown like romantic dates like they i feel like they might take you out to eat a lot um that's what i'm being told they'll take you out to eat a lot take you it's just the i'm being told like it's just the way that they are they're quite uh traditional so they may be like, you know, engagement, marry, kids, house. Like, they may be quite like that. They definitely believe in marriage, I'm being told. Um, 
and they're quite like res well not quite like they feel very like respectful like they um i just feel like they want to look after you that they just feel very traditional that's what i'm being shown but any more like physical attributes spirit i don't know why they're telling me like i don't know whether this is something you'll notice about them but they keep telling me big hands and if they're tall obviously they would have big hands but they're showing me like big hands or like big feet <laughs> like something like that i don't know um but is there anything else i'm being told they'll smell nice that came up for pile number one as well i'm being told they really will smell nice they take care of themselves in the way that they present themselves is what i'm being told um and they make sure that they have things that make them look nice if that makes sense like they may even like buy designer things and stuff like that they like to present themselves very well um and i feel like they'll treat you like that like buy you stuff like that um anything else that's all i'm being shown there but we'll get into the cards and if anything else comes up it will so with the ace of cups and the queen of swords this person is going to hold a lot of love for you. I feel like this person is going to really have their eye on you for a while before you even realize who they are. It's like they're very calculated, business minded, like they're very analytical, intelligent, very like that. But when it comes to like love and romance, I don't know whether they would have been in a relationship where they had their confidence gone or they're just naturally like that. They move towards people very slowly. They could be Venus and Taurus actually or moon in taurus they move to situations like that very slowly and i feel like they're gonna have their eye on you they're gonna find you extremely attractive but they're going to like slowly move towards you but it's almost in a sense like you don't even realize that they like you um and they're gonna kind of like just slowly kind of like creep in and step towards you um it might even be a shock when they tell you that they like you or want to be with you like because they, they're they a slow coach. I have to be honest with you guys. This is a slow burner. And this is going to be a slow burner. And I, I'm hearing it's because they're very sensitive. And they know that they're sensitive. So it's like, I have to be careful with how I'm going to move towards someone. And they're going to feel like a real hearty energy towards you. Before they even step towards you. And it's like, if I'm feeling like this now. If I put my heart on the line and they break it, like, this is going to be a mess for me. So, they're going to really take it slow and feel those feelings out. I'm being told with the Six of Wands and the Two of Pentacles reversed, um, in their past situations, there may have been codependency. And I don't even feel it with them. It's more like, I feel like their past relationships, they were in codependent relationships where the person that they were with was codependent on them they could do you know because i like i said they they feel like they grew up with money and have always been good with money and i feel like the people that they would have dated or in the dating pool that they were in people were only stepping towards them because of like you're financially secure so that means i'll be financially secure like people may have been stepping towards them in regards to that and then they would have created this dynamic of like codependency but the way i'm being made to feel of you is that you have your own stuff like you have your own money it's not even like you don't even care about that type of stuff i don't feel like you grew up around there. i feel like you may you feel self-made to me not that they didn't work hard for what they have but i just feel like there was no money blockages with them to create abundance whereas with you i feel like you may have had to remove blockages to create something better for yourself that's how it feels for you guys and i feel like they really admire that about you that you work very hard um they keep telling me that they find you very attractive like the way you speak the way you carry yourself i feel like you're that you very much look after yourself um there's something like angelic about you in a way is what i'm being told and with the knight of cups and the nine of wands yeah they're gonna be really slow moving towards you like they're gonna take it in baby steps baby steps and it's like they may hold a lot of their more emotions in um until they can step towards you and i'm almost being told with this eight of swords and the page of wands that they, I don't know whether it's like you can't be together because of a work dynamic or you may be in a relationship when you meet or they, no, it doesn't even feel like you. It feels more so them. I mean, it, it feels more so you. That's what I meant. It feels like you may be seeing someone or something like that. Or it could just be that they feel like you're not interested because that feels like a barrier. But if anything, it does feel a little bit internalized. 
so they may be like oh this person's definitely with someone else this person's talking to someone else this person isn't interested in me there's a lot of like inward thinking so they're going to be very slow and checking you out before they do step towards you and even tell you that they like you um that's what i'm being told they're looking for someone they want to build with too definitely like venus capricorn venus taurus energy uh but cancer somewhere cancer definitely somewhere um and then with the eight of wands energy here i just feel like they may even they're so intelligent and grounded but like i just feel like around you they may trip on their words or get a bit of brain fog or just have a hard time like opening up in the beginning and it's not because they don't like you it's because they really like you it's just gonna be like a hot minute you may even find them quite closed off when you do meet them and that may be something that like you're not interested in so you may like not pay them any mind and i feel like that may be where the eight of swords comes in where they're like oh my god i don't even think they like me <laughs> but they really really do like you but it's going to be a slow burner um definite slow burner and you're going to spend a lot of time together this card just falls sorry guys you're going to spend a lot of time together um which is going to create this very beautiful friendship um because like i said i feel like that's what they want they want to create a friendship where it turns into something so i feel like they may even try and approach you in that way as well um to be honest with you um but yeah they, i'm not picking up like anything too much of like light hair i'm being shown like dark features dark hair dark eyes you know what i mean I'm, I'm really picking up that and like tan skin olive skin dark skin that's what i'm picking up um more so in regards to physical appearances i'm not picking up much more but like i said we will get into it we do have venus here as well let me make sure that focuses so you can see we have venus here so this is more so coming through like they see you as a very it's basically the energy of the rose quartz as well as how they see you like they see you as extremely attractive very in touch with your divine feminine you present yourself very well like i said there's something very angelic there you may have like libra rising or pr prominent like libra in your chart to be honest with you libra rising or maybe like venus in the first house or libra venus even like sun libra i'm picking just anything libra really i just really do feel um like aphrodite's influence on you at least that's how they see you very attractive very a treat for the eye as spirit said that's how they feel about um you and you seem homely is what i'm being told you seem homely like there's almost a cancer energy to you as well like you seem like someone that is very nurturing and that would be a very good potential like father mother to their children like they see that in you and they're like right there we are and this is my this is the person i want to marry i can see it um and then we have aries here as well it's funny because I feel like that Aries energy when it comes to anything else in their life. But then when it comes to like romance, it's just like they're very slow and like, let me feel this out. Let me move towards it slowly. Let me make sure that this person is, you know, coming towards me with good intentions. Like, let me feel this out. Let's be friends. Let's see how we, you know, they don't want to, there's this energy coming through from them. Like, I don't want to mess up anything again. I don't want, you know... They are a little bit worried of failure in regards to that, um, is what I'm being told. Um, and then we have Taurus at the back of the deck. So we had um, we had Venus, and obviously um, Venus is ruled by Libra and Taurus. So that hasn't shocked me that Taurus has come through, to be honest with you. You're both very attractive. And this is one thing you're going to see about them as well. Like They're very attractive, very nice to look at, and so are you. You're going to be a very attractive couple, I'm being told. Um... And that's one thing you both realize about each other like very quickly and there's something about the eyes you may make like eye contact with each other or you may catch them like looking at you are you looking at them there's something about eyes or maybe you just both like each other's eyes um they're telling me like dreamy eyes <laughs> um but like yeah i just feel like there's something about eyes maybe they like stare at you a little bit or like check you out a little bit and you catch them having a sly sorry guys i was picking up my cards having a snack a sly little uh check out i feel but they have like a heart of gold though 
they're very like family orientated as well i feel like they'll have a good relationship with their family or want like a big family uh i'm being told that as well so pile two um what is pile number two's future spouse going to look like what are that <laughs> look at that work very business minded business orientated for their work you may meet them at work but this work is going to play a big role in their life like they really take their work very seriously they've got a really good business head i'm being told um pile number two pile number two um Panama's future spouse oh friends first yeah i felt it i felt it i feel like they're gonna try and approach you as friends first maybe this barrier is you may put them in the friend zone <laughs> and then they're like too scared to kind of offer you something because they're in the friend zone it could be that to be honest with you i feel they'll break out of it but I just feel like it's going to be a shock when they tell you that they that they like you. We have past life connection, which this definitely does make sense. I feel like there's a very hearty connection here. I'm hearing that's why you picked the rose quartz. But I said that they'd be family orientated and we have family orientated. So the cards just confirmed that um, they, ca they, they may have like a sibling that they're very close with. Either a brother or a sister. I mean, there isn't any other type of sibling. But I just feel like they're going to have um, a sibling that they are close with. Kyle, oh, intelligent. I said this. I said they seem very intelligent, like very brainy and cheekbones. So they may have very nice cheekbones. Um, someone, they have their ear pierced or ears pierced if they're a female. Definite piercings in the ears. I just got shown that. Um, pile two. They may have a significant tattoo that you see and you're like, oh. That's what I'm being told. Straight hair. So they may have straight hair. I feel like if they're a female, their hair's going to be very sleek. They may put it up and make it look very sleek. Or if they're a male, um, their hair's going to be quite short and sleek. Or something like that. Is what I'm being told. Um, medium height. So they may be medium height. Take medium height in the way that you would take it. Like whatever you think medium height is. Pile. Oh, we have leader of the pack. This is what I meant. They have Aries energy in regards to anything else in their life. Like they know how to run a business, lead a conversation, sell to people. Like they're very good at that. It's just relationships where they're like, they get a bit of the sweat. So, you know, they're like, oh my God, like, what am I doing? Um, and they, they, they are like, they, they, I feel like they're a manager of something. We have passionate, very passionate, to be honest with you. That's why the first thing that I picked up was Venus in Cancer. Very passionate. Like, this is someone that will give you that all. Like, literally give you that all. This is that type of person. Um, I feel like they listen to a lot of, like, deep music, too. Like, you know, like, the old school R&B and songs like that? I'm hearing, like, Mario and people like that. Like, I I'm hearing that. Uh, they'll listen to a lot of music. They may even send you music or just like play a lot of music like that. Very into their feelings. They may play a lot of Drake. <laughs> uh, but we have um, glasses um, as well. So they may wear glasses. Um, or they could wear glasses for like reading or when they're working or driving or something like that. Um, pile number two. One final card spread. Oh, they decided to give me two. Okay, slow and steady. What did I say? What did I say? I only had the Taurus energy there as well. Slow and steady. I said that. I felt that. Um, and then we have brown eyes. I said they'd have dark eyes as well. Yeah, we have brown eyes. And the back of the deck, we have green eyes. We have green eyes at the back of the deck. Mm hmm okay so that's all i have for you guys pile number two i hope you enjoyed um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did if you see that little scammer try and comment and tell you to what's up for a private reading that is not me so make sure you report um i hope you're having a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at what your future spouse is going to look like. Um, so I'm going to start with Tarot, move into Oracle cards, and I have my other cards that have like physical attributes on that as well. Um, so remember to keep an open mind. Um, remember this is general, so if something doesn't resonate, just 
allow it to fall away you only take what resonates um but i'll probably pick up on more than just the physical appearance because that usually happens i'll get a feel of their personality or maybe like what their feelings are towards you that usually happens with tarot but whatever i can get in regards to physical appearance i will so let's get in so pile number three the honey calcite pile um spirit can you tap me into the collective of pile number three i'm being shown mint mint you guys may be brushing your teeth right now or eating a mint chewing gum because as i said tap me into the collective i just had a taste of mint in my mouth so um something like that could be happening right now you could even just be having like a mint candle going or something like that uh but i just i swear i just tasted mint um pile three honey calcite pile what is pile number three's future spouse's physical attributes going to be like oh okay i just got shown a pirate <laughs> like i literally just got shown like a captain jack sparrow type of person so they may have like long hair uh they may have like a beard or something like that or like tattoos and piercings and that's the type of avenue they're taking me down for you guys pile number three um it doesn't feel like uh they may even be like a tattoo artist or something like that but i'm being shown like they are quite connected to spirit like that um i feel like they grow their hair out because of that it's it, it, i feel like they grow their hair out something to do with like spirituality i'm being told um but definitely like, they'll have like long hair or this this hair that's like very prominent with them that you'll notice they have very dark eyes keep showing me pirates guys literally keep showing me pirates so i don't know whether you'll meet in like disneyland with like captain hook i don't know <laughs> but uh, i just i feel like they're saying like pirate in the sense of how they may look like long hair jewelry be uh maybe tattoo or something like that um but let's get in so pile three i'm gonna lay the tarot and then i'll get into the physical attributes and then we'll go from there so pile three what is pile number three's future spouse going to look like very seductive i'm hearing they'll have a like i feel like they're gonna have a different accent to you because the way i'm being made to feel is that you're you're really gonna like the accent so they're gonna have an accent that you find very sexy very sexy like their voice seems very like raspy and sexy that's how they're uh voice and, and accent sounds something sexy that you find so whatever accent you hear and you're like oh that's sexy could have an accent like that because i do feel like they're gonna be either from a different um country from you yeah they're gonna be from a different country than you it feels only take what resonates if it doesn't you know resonate then whatever and i know sometimes like in different countries you can have different accents like even in wales we have like wales is the smallest country you guys but we have like three different accents here as well so um take it as a resonance you could be from like you know one side of the country they're from another side and you have a different accent but um it could be that too oh why does always one card decide to fall on the floor i don't know we have the eight of wands i just shared when i picked up the eight of wands gemini so they may have like um some strong gemini in their chat it's more so because they're taking me to the third house so i'm actually being told they may have a lot of um planets in the third house they i'm actually here when i gotta talk your year off they're very they're intelligent but they have a lot to say and i feel like they want to go deep with you <laughs> and they're going to want to know a lot about you they're going to be very inquisitive about you they're going to be very um they just want to they want to fall in love with your mind they're those type of people so they may have like venus in libra venus in aquarius venus in gemini or like mercury in an air sign as well because they're very um they like to be mentally stimulated if that makes sense and they need someone that they can talk to about a lot of things and i feel like you're quite deep but you've at least been through things that you have knowledge on things that really interest them keeps being shown aliens maybe you're both starseeds and you know it so you talk about it but um they are really going to want to spend time with you where they can just talk to you so i feel like you're gonna go on a lot of dates where like you go on walks or go and see really cool things or just like you just talk to each other a lot like you two are gonna talk a lot like a lot a lot that's how i'm being made to feel pile why are you on the floor um okay so we have the knight of pentacles pile number three let's just lay these first pile number three what is, is that future supposed going to look like the lovers gemini energy there pile three we have the nine of wands 
pile three. What is pile number three's future spouse going to look like? Oh, we have the nine of swords. Don't worry, guys. We'll get into it. Pile number three. What is pile number three's future spouse going to look like? Okay, we have the hanged man. Okay, this is going to be a very deep connection, I have to say. Ace of Cups at the back of the deck. But before I go into this part, because this is telling me a story, I want to get more physical attributes because I know that's why you're here. So, Spirit, can you give me any more physical attributes of what this person looks like or what they may wear? They like, they're showing me, you know, like gold jewelry. That's probably why they were showing me pirates. They're showing me gold jewelry. Like, I feel like they'll wear gold jewelry, like necklace with like tags on them. You know, like them, like pendant things or like, you know, them tags that people wear, them gold ones. They could wear that or like a lot of rings, jewelry. Uh, they're taking me to like earrings. They may have like their tongue pierced or their nose pierced, something like that. They seem very eccentric uh gemini and aquarius i'm really picking up from them to be honest with you very eccentric um so intelligent like they're very intelligent their mind is on all the time um their eyes are very deep you guys like when i'm tapping into their eyes like they seem like they either have very like smoldering eyes yeah that is literally the word smoldering but it's like they look at you they like look into your soul there's a lot of eye contact that's going to go on between the two of you like a lot of eye contact i see you both just like talking to each other and really looking in each other's eyes it's like you you feel like you're from the same like soul tribe like this is i feel with you guys there's going to be an instant connection to be honest with you uh between the two of you and i'm actually being told that when you do meet um you're not going to be looking for anything at all like you're both going to be on your own thing and then you meet and it's like oh wow like uh, this feels heavy and i i feel a lot of emotions and oh my god like it's gonna be like that um you're both gonna make each other laugh a lot as well there's a lot of jokes going on here you really get each other on a really deep level you both need me mental stimulation i'm being told so you may have mercury or venus in an air sign um or in like the air houses but yeah you both need a lot of mental stimulation and that's why you click that it's kind of priceless like i'm being told you just click and it's just like it with you you've got to really click with someone it's got to be there and if it's not there then it's just a no go like and i feel like it's the same for them and i feel like you two it's like boom and i keep being shown books so i feel like this person may, may even be like a bookworm or like read a lot to be honest with you um i just shared nirvana so they may even listen to nirvana they like deep music they like music that gets very deep um but it's not like um they like music about like real stuff like tupac like music where they can really like listen to what people have to say like nipsey hustle and um you know like like just deep deep songs like um who sing like a Tinashe? Tinashe sings deep stuff. Jenny Aiko sings deep stuff. People like that that sing about deep stuff or talk about stuff like that. They may even be into like conspiracy documentaries or just watch a lot of documentaries and things like that. They seem like a lone wolf in the sense that they don't um you know like i said if they click with you they click with you and if they don't they don't they do feel like that um like they love everyone they have a love for everyone but i feel like in regards to like friends and stuff like that like they have close-knit friends that they click with but it's like if they don't click with you they don't really care for like small talk or anything like that um even though they're good at it i feel like they're very charming but i just feel like they don't tend to keep people around them that don't tap into their soul like that the way that i feel you do um I feel like they're very air and fire and I feel like you're very air and water, it feels. Um, physical attributes though, they may dress very alternative or just like, I keep it like ripped jeans or something like that. They dress quite alternative, it feels. Uh, that's the way they're coming through. There's a reality star that I'm actually being shown. If you guys are from the UK, you may know him if you're not from the UK. There's a TV show in the UK called The Only Way is Essex. And there's a guy on there called Pete Wicks. And he very much has like long hair, smoldering eyes. And he does dress quite alternative. And they keep showing me a style like that in regards to a male. Um, so they may be like that. And then female wise, I'm being shown like a Kehlani. Yeah, like a Kehlani. That's what I'm being shown female wise. But something about blue and um, oh, they're taking me to the throat chakra yeah these people can talk these people can talk <laughs> um they may even be like motivational speakers they may have like an online presence they may have like a youtube channel they may travel you may meet them traveling 
definitely into spirituality to be honest with you this person has crystals i'm being shown somebody in a house with incense and crystals um very into that and is there anything else can you show me a test about how they look i don't feel like they're going to be all that muscly to be honest with you they feel quite um like slender or thin um like healthy but not like like in the gym lifting weights every day it doesn't it doesn't really feel like that um they do take care good care of themselves though um i know like pirates don't really have good hygiene so i've been told but they do take good care of themselves because there's every single pile i've heard that they smell nice and i'm hearing it here like they smell nice but i'm being told something about essential oils i'm being taken to essential oils with this person i feel like they may be vegetarian or vegan as well anything else for it they keep referencing tattoos being a being something though if that's not your style it's fine but that's what i'm being shown so let's get into this so we have the five of wands magician let's start with that i want to say this person's actually quite a sensitive soul i feel like this person has a very pure heart like they're not they, when they love they love they have a very pure heart and being told they love animals they may have a lot of animals being shown like a little budgie or a parrot or something like is this literally a pirate like i'm being shown a parrot <laughs> This person, oh my god, okay, so they're showing me that, but I just feel like this is going to be a very deep connection. You two feel very connected to spirit, so this is going to be a highly, like, divine counterpart. And I do feel like at the beginning, because you do, you two feel like you choose to be lone wolves, or you like to be lone wolves, I am being told that you two um may trigger each other a little bit in the beginning more so out of like i just shared the faith evan song love like this i never knew there was a love like this before because you feel things for each other quite quickly and i feel like you get shocked both of you by how ecstatic you are with each other how you bounce off each other and it's almost like whoa like you're taken aback by it and i feel like that may trigger wounds but i see them coming up and you guys really working through them because you two are, do shadow work i feel like you've done shadow work you know that and i feel like there may be a little bit of a worry from both sides of stepping towards the connection out of like i feel quite intense i do not want to like lose this person i don't want it to break down so there may be worries like that that you guys need to kind of overcome um is what i'm being told they're telling me because of the honey curl site it could be worries in regards to your like solar plexus or your sacral chakra so you may not feel worthy of a connection like that and that may be something that you're working through or they may not feel worthy of it and they feel like they have to work through that or with solar plexus it could be that you it is self-worth things you may not feel confident enough and those are things that are being triggered so that you could release it because what this connection is going to bring you look at the there's two aces like literally that this is going to bring you a lot of clarity and a lot of emotional abundance but i feel like you both i just showed janae i go song moments and she sings both had a past full of sorrow so you may have really been hurt in the past or had a chaotic family dynamic growing up they may have too and i feel like you're both helping each other heal from that um which is why little bits of the triggering may come in it's nothing that's going to like jeopardize it like i see you guys working through it but with the nine of wands and the lovers i feel like i'm feeling more you may push away from them first it feels like i feel like there may be like a push and pull in the beginning but it more so feels that you like you may be like oh my god this is a bit too much you may have been single for a little while i do see it resolute in but i feel like there may be an ego death and or, or an ascension that takes place before you two actually like get together get married and things like that um because there may be something that I wouldn't say blocks it because I feel like you're always going to be in contact but it's like um there is a shedding of a wound or an ego that will have to happen either before you meet or once you've met each other that brings this enlightenment that puts you two together this is a very divine counterpart you guys but what is on the other end of that releasing is this abundance um is this abundance of the ace of cups um I feel like that's why they wanted me to talk about this because it does feel like it's going to be you're shocked how you're like you literally feel like 
cut from the same cloth like you're like the same people and i feel like that in itself may trigger you like whoa you know like parts that you may have been running from within yourself they may have and you're like whoa you know so it, it could be something like that where your your souls chose to go through that before you got together because this feels when i tap into it like an ego death um a release you know what i mean a, a purging of the old old habits old thoughts of what love actually is you know oh my god you know what i was saying i was picking up gemini we literally have the gemini card so there's gemini somewhere or just a lot of third house placement somewhere you may be ruled by mercury they may be ruled by mercury it feels like them so much talking like you two are gonna be like two peas in a pod literally you're gonna speak like each other what i'm actually being told is they may have a different accent to you so you both have different accents but you talk to each other so much and i feel like you have got a lot of air like i said they feel like air and fire you feel like air and water even if you don't have air that's completely fine this is general but i feel like i don't know whether you pick up on accents very quickly or they do but i'm being made to feel like you're gonna start talking each other's lingo or talking like each other there may be another language that you end up speaking you know what i mean like you both end up being bilingual like learning each other's language or something like that um the only way i can explain it is like my mercury is in the third house and i have a lot of air in my chat so i pick up on accents like very well like i have a welsh accent but the two males that i grew up around like the my like dad and then the person that i thought was my dad one of them has like a cockney accent and then one of them has like a vermin accent so i have that in with my welsh accent so sometimes people think i'm like some people sometimes think I'm like Scottish or like Newcastle, but I'm not. So I pick up on accents like that and I feel like you may pick up on theirs or they pick up on yours. You're going to talk alike, it feels, because you speak so much to each other. Oh God, every, ca every card just dropped. Two seconds. If you hear like noises, it's my chat, like making noises, it kind of creaks. Um, Pile of threes, future spouse, physical attributes okay they let me drop two so i'm just gonna put the two down um so what are these two cards we have jupiter jupiter and we also have capricorn okay you're gonna i feel like you know that you have some sort of mission to help others in some sort of way like humanitarian wise because they keep showing me aquarius and i feel like you're both with this capricorn and jupiter energy going to not just like build a foundation in the sense of like building a home having children like you feel like you're the, the using word empire like you're building something up where you're helping each other release any wounds that was holding each other back and you help each other manifest and be very abundant, but then teach other people to do the same. You may link up and work together in some sort of way, Pow 3. Um, I do feel like you are here for that. I feel like that's where your soul ch souls chose to be with each other. But once you go through this like purging of the old, I feel like there's a lot of... You're really going to be in alignment more than ever. And I feel like you're going to really bring in a lot. And I feel like... Um, I just shared Billie Eilish, I had a dream, I had everything I wanted. So I feel like you are going to bring in whatever you desire for the future. I feel like you're going to have that. There's something about traveling though. They keep mentioning traveling. And um, they're showing me an anchor as well. They showed me an anchor in one of my other pick of cards the other day. But they're showing it to me again. And we have Pisces at the back of the deck. So yeah, you guys definitely have a very psychic connection. A spiritual connection. Um, and I feel like you both know your star seeds it feels like um so i'm gonna pull these cards with like physical attributes on and we'll get into it and see what um they say so pal three very sensual as well this is like a sensual connection i feel like you're gonna be very like intimate with each other a lot like there's a lot of that it's very like fiery like that passionate um pal three pal three is future spouse okay so we have same age um so you both may be the same age and we have workaholic but the way i'm being made to feel like their work is it's not like in an office telling people what to do it's like physical like they're on the go they're teaching they're speaking they're talking to people it's like that but they're very into their work because they put their heart and soul into their work um but it just feels like a different type of work than someone like a manager or something like that you know like pal two had workaholic but it was like manager like that's what they put their head towards but it's like this is more 
they're very abundant like that but it's, it's they, they work with their hair this is the only way i'm being made to feel like that um intelligent yeah i said that they feel very intelligent they're going to be knowledgeable on a lot of stuff i said i felt that they'll be quite slim built and we have slim here um and then we also have spiritual yeah i felt spiritual um i felt that oh ooh, ooh, it fell on the floor we have blue eyes okay so we have blue eyes uh, remember these are general so take them as they resonate pile three future spouse we have cheekbones i feel like they have a smoldering face like a smoldering face cheekbones jawline like very like that straight hair so they may have straight hair um pile three physical attributes of pile three is future spouse we have health um so they may take very like i said they may be like vegan vegetarian so i feel like they take um good care of their health and we have family orientated so they may be very close with their family it's more so coming up they're close with a mother they feel close with a mother um and i feel like they want a lot of children it feels like the way i'm being made to feel is that they're going to want a big family um if that isn't something that you're into just let that pass um pile they are just jumping out on the floor for you guys the cards are like leaping out which is very much the energy of like um this person you know they're here they're there pile three. Oh, why did you run away why did you run away okay so we have passionate sorry i'm like all the way over here we have passionate and we have shy let me sit down and we'll get into it um so with the passionate energy like i said they're gonna have very big hearts i feel like they i felt the passion i felt like they were air on fire it feels very passionate very passionate about certain causes as well like um you know whatever it is that they work towards like i said their heart's gonna be in it humanitarian for sure very passionate about the world and people and very passionate about you and i feel like that may be something that they may even like freak go out over you know because they've been single for some time it feels and it's like oh my god i have all these feelings with shy i feel like you may see them as shy the minute that you do meet them even though there's an intense connection because i don't feel like they're gonna talk much you know like i said they they have to bring someone into their circle and they have to um really click i feel like there's going to be an instant click with you but when you start to speak to each other beforehand i don't like i feel like you may think oh my god that person's shy that person isn't speaking you may feel like that you may even be the same because there's a lot of mirror in here um to be honest with you if anything i said you're like that sounds like me there's mirroring going on in this connection for sure and um i feel like you may even have the same idea of each other like oh they're shy they're shy but like neither of you are speaking and then a conversation is had and you end up speaking it's like whoa <laughs> like whoa um we have gifts at the back of the deck i feel like they're gonna definitely like give you little gifts and stuff like that but it, like i said it's gonna be like um even though i feel like they're gonna make decent money i feel like they don't care about like designer things and things like that and the gifts are being shown like they're the type to bring you crystals like bucks like very um they look at what you like and they'll send it to you so they may like look on your phone like not that they're like taking your phone but like so you know you're scrolling through and you have like a screenshot of like this necklace that you like they're very quick like that so they'd like see it and then they'd like google it find it buy it and send it to you like they're like that that's how i'm being made to feel they're quite quick like that and they catch little things they have a scorpionic energy to what to them where they like catch little things you know what i mean like someone may be making you feel uncomfortable and you don't want to talk to them and they'll like purposefully like jump in and make sure that that person isn't talking to you so that you're more feeling more secure like they notice little things like that like if your body language tenses up like um you know a different tone in your voice they're very like that because they're always looking deep into things this is a very deep person um and a very deep connection that's gonna happen um so that's what i have for you guys part number three i hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did um if you get a comment from that scammer saying to whatsapp them for a private reading that is not me so make sure you report um but either way i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching
Hey Pamphlo, welcome to your reading. So if you guys chose the beautiful Lemurian Quartz, then this is your pile. So we're going to be taking a look at the physical attributes of your future spouse and the physical appearance. So um, remember this is a general reading, so only take what resonates. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at the physical appearance and anything that comes through. But like always, it just happened with the other three piles. I am going to get other information as well that usually comes through. So their personality, what they're into um, and things like that, maybe even the dynamics of your relationship if that comes up um but i'm gonna try and get as much information as i can i do have my cards as well with physical attributes so we'll be pulling them too to get you know further information so um straight away before i even tap in i'm being shown like a bright yellow yellowy orangey energy you may meet them at sunset it's making me think of a sunset so you may meet them at sunset or they may have like a yellow or orange aura or they may be very like confident solar plexus or very like abundant free-spirited the sacral chakra so uh there's that coming through but i am actually being shown music they keep playing me like um like they're showing me like a stereo and music playing so they may send you messages like the higher self through music i'm being told or they may just like music's a very big part in your life music's a very big part in their life they may play a musical instrument um like a guitar they may be a dj i'm being shown drums it could be like a drummer or someone like that i'm really being taken to music um so either they work in music or they just love music and you share a lot of music um in common or together is what i'm being told straight up so pile four this person feels cheeky like this person feels like cheeky like not like um rude just like um they'll put push your buttons in a fun way like not in like a mean way just like they'll like to joke around with you or say like things that you know may make you blush you know just like little things like that they'll be quite cheeky it feels um pile four what is pile four's future supposed gonna look like i'm gonna pull the tarot first and then um we'll get into the oracles but i'm gonna lay the tarot and then channel fully so pile four what is pile number four's future spouse going to look like um they're not giving me an actual hair color they're literally just keeping that very varied but i'm hearing that they may have like either like floppy hair like longy type hair but it's like um they have a lot of it um either like beach waves maybe beach waves or something like that um they may have like a fro i'm being shown that as well um are they just like if they're a female they're going to have like i'm being shown specifically for female like mermaid hair so they may have really long hair um if they're a female um pile number four what is pile number four just supposed is going to look like okay we have the five of swords um pile number four pile number four what is pile number four's future spouse going to look like and they're taking me to the blonde hair here so someone's future spouse is going to have blonde hair um they just keep taking me to the they may have hair like this little guy here do you see what i mean how it's not oh my god i've just dropped some cards do you see what i mean like it's not like long or short it's just like curls wavy that keeps being referenced to me they kept telling me to look at that so either blonde or they'll have the type of hair like that like wavy curly something like that something like that um pile number four i just heard pisces so they may have prominent pisces in their chat um pile four's future spouse let's move these a little bit lower I'm still getting used to the dynamic of the camera um so we have the empress card as well pile number four what is pile number four's future spouse gonna look like four of wands jesus i'm just knocking these out am i what am i doing um we also have the seven of wands and we have the judgment card Ooh. i'm hearing the big sean ty dollar sign and janae eichel song body language um that's the song I'm hearing. They're very cheeky like that. I feel like they're going to be quite sensual with you. Quite open like that with you. And I, I just feel like they're very going to be attracted to your physical body, I'm being told. Um, pile four. Oh my god, that just jumped out and jumped onto my table. We have temperance here as well. Um, and then the back of the deck, we have the page of pentacles so let's get into this so let me just before i get into tarot i want to have a look at the 
physical appearances so spirit can you show me anything to do with their physical appearances i know it's not their physical appearances but i'm being told they're gonna have a nice car or they may be into cars um it's kind of like a mixed bag that's coming through in regards to physical appearances i feel like they're going to dress very well I'm being shown someone wearing shirts with like buttons up on collars and things like that. But like, you know, when you have like an open collar, this is like male figure I'm being shown um, very quickly. Like, you know, when you have like the open, oh, like open collar, you can see a bit of that chest. Like I'm being shown that. Um, they may wear like a, like a necklace or like a chain or something like that. I'm being taken to. Um, muscly. Yeah, they're going to have muscly arms muscly arms they definitely go to the gym this is male i'm being shown predominantly male but i'm gonna ask for female too um but this is what they're showing me collectively quickly um if they're a male they're gonna have like small waist but like a big like upper body is what i'm being shown and they, they're gonna be quite tall if they're male now they're taking me to female and they say, oh, I'm just sharing if they're male, their shoe game is going to be very good. I just shared they have nice shoes. <laughs> they take good care of that. Like, there may be something that they, like, purposefully make sure that they have, like, in the bag. Um, with female, I'm being told they're going to have thick thighs if they're a female. Um, nice butt. That's what I'm being told. Thin waist, again. Hourglass. That's what I'm being shown. Thin waist, big boobs, hourglass. I'm being shown for female. Um... They may be quite strong in the arms too though. Like this, if they're a female, I feel like they're quite strong in the in the arms. Um, medium height for female, I'm actually being taken to. Again, long hair, like long flowy hair. Um, beautiful eyes, female and male, actually too. Male and female, beautiful eyes. But for female, like wow, it, it feels like they have very big if they, they they seem like a cancer sun cancer rising eyes you know sometimes people with predominant cancer they have very beautiful big eyes um that's what they're showing me there um anything else spirit i feel like if they're a female they're going to be into their makeup they're going to like wearing makeup um male is there anything else something about a really nice smile but it's like a cheeky smile like they smile like they may annoy you but then they smile and it's like how can i stay mad it's like that type of smile that's what i'm being shown um and they're gonna be quite if they're a male they're gonna be quite um uh big downstairs if you if you catch my drift i gotta keep it pg but you know what i mean by that um so that's what i'm being shown so let's get into these um this person may, i'm actually being told this person may try and like holler at you and you may not be interested when they first try to step towards you because you know like i said this person seems quite like cheeky one thing that i will say about you is that you've had to really work with this temperance energy of like putting in boundaries bigging yourself up like self-worth self-love and i feel like maybe you had people in the past and you would have maybe settled for less in the past and i feel like now you're very much like or at least when you meet this person you're like i know what i deserve i know what i want like i know what i deserve i'm not interested in anything less and i feel like because of this person's playful nature i feel like they're gonna step towards you trying to be quite cheeky they may say like um a really cheesy pickup line or just something that may even be just something that you're like no don't come towards me like that you either i don't think you're gonna tell them off some of you may but there's just like an energy of like oh like don't just don't like go like i just feel like you're not into them when they first step towards you like no 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 because i feel like you get there's a misunderstanding i feel like you may not like see that they were just being funny that's how I, i'm being made to feel because i keep hearing someone saying no 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 you've got me all wrong like it was a joke like i was do you know what i mean like i feel like there may be some sort of friction i'm being told but it's something that you look back and laugh at it's like i did not like this person when i first met them like i just did not like them at all um they're gonna have that look at that they're gonna have the eye on you and i feel like you're like nope you're gonna walk away you're like nope they may try for a little bit to get your number and you're like i'm not interested i'm not interested they're really gonna have to put in the work because i feel like you're like you come correctly or not at all they see that and they're like okay i can't really be too playful here like i've got to really show them that i mean business and that i'm serious um because they they i feel like they flirt with you and i feel like you may think oh they flirt with everybody but i feel like when they've got their eyes on you they've got their eyes on you i'm hearing the meek mill and Nicki minaj song all eyes on you i think it's called um very for you like that 
and i feel like as well this person has libra in their chart they may have like a libra rising or like a libra moon um they're quite romantics at heart and i feel like they're very the reason that I feel like how they get you, <laughs> how they get you to open up is that they're very for you. Like, they're very much like, I want to prove to this person that I'm for them. And I feel like they're going to, I don't see that it's necessarily like gifts. They may even try and give you gifts, but it's more like they're going to be like wanting to take you out on dates, be very for you, like very quickly, like you want my password, you can have it, like that type of thing. Like very early on in the relationship, they're going to be very much like trying to prove to you like I'm not... I'm not like you know this cheeky person like I am serious and I feel like you two are going to really become like best friends um that's what I'm being told like there's a lot of laughter and funniness and jokes and pranks being played on each other and little things like that it bring I feel like sometimes you can be quite serious and I feel like they make you feel a lot more carefree it's a very carefree situation um and they connect you to your inner child as well even though I feel like you are quite connected to your inner child I feel like you've had to learn to take things very seriously and be like an adult I guess and I feel like they bring you back to like that inner child um type of thing but they're very for you like they can't do enough of you it feels um and very attracted to you they do a lot to try and make you smile I feel like they may have like Leo somewhere they want to make you happy they want to make you smile I see that and with the page of pentacles they very much like have you on a pedestal in the sense of like you know sometimes i mentioned it in one of my readings before when you saw like for example say like kanye west and kim kardashian and they'd be having their photos taken but kanye would like step back and kind of be like look at my wife like kind of like that they're gonna be like that with you they're going to want to they may have venus and leo actually because they're gonna want to show you off um they may post you a lot on their instagram and things like that they're gonna show you off quite quite a bit i'm being told um and with the four of ones and the seven of ones they are they're gonna be a bit jealous over you like because i feel like you're very attractive or at the point that they do meet you they may they may have like a friend or someone in a work environment that may try to make a pass at you or try to get with you beforehand and they're gonna be very like no no that's mine like that's mine there's something about that or they may just get a little bit jealous over like you know because you're very attractive i i feel like that's how we're made to feel and they don't it's like that's mine that's mine but it's in a very like venus and leo way it's not like anything toxic or anything like that like a venus scorpio way it's not like that it's like a venus leo way um uh, not that if any of you guys have venus and scorpio that you're toxic but you know what i mean it's not possessive it's not like that it's like um it's like Venus and Leo that like <laughs> they're playing me one direction everybody want to steal my girl they're playing that it's like that um they're very playful like that um again music they're using music to kind of explain how they feel um and then judgment and temperance yeah you're both gonna fill up each other's cups because i feel like in the past you put a lot of the legwork into relationships so you at least gave a lot of love outward like gave a lot of love made people feel very good but i feel like you didn't get it back much which is probably why you had to boundary up that makes sense but they also have had that and i feel like you both like pour into each other make sure that you know i'm being shown like you're almost like accountability partners for each other like you you know you make sure that you're staying healthy you make sure that each other gets to the gym you make sure each other's eating right you make sure each other's happy very for each other you may both have a bit of leo in, in your chats to be honest with you um beautiful connection though i see you have and i see you having children this person's very good with kids as well very good with kids um like loves children and wants children and i if, if you guys aren't into that that's fine you can let that bit pass but i feel like this person's gonna want children with you they see you as this empress energy whether you're a male or female they see you as very abundant and attractive um oh so we have taurus we have the taurus card here um pile number four just pull one more Jupiter spouse's physical attributes i caught that like that literally stopped right before we have jupiter it stopped right before it fell off the table we have jupiter as well and the back of the deck we have leo <laughs> i felt it i felt leo 
I know a fellow Leo when I feel one. Um, okay, so it's Horus and Jupiter. This person's very optimistic and happy-go-lucky about life. This is not someone that just like, if they feel upset, they'll work through it and then they'll move on. They're not someone that's just going to sit and hold a grudge. Like, they don't feel like that. And I feel like they are, you know, with the Taurus, I feel like they may have Mars and Taurus. The reason I'm saying that is they are passionate, but I feel like they're very... They must have some earthy energy somewhere because it may be Mars and Taurus or Mars and Capricorn because they're not just going to like get angry or fly off the handle for anything. Like they very much are quite practical thinking like that. And I feel like they, um, how can I explain this feeling that I'm being made to feel spirit? They feel like they don't lose their head over things that don't matter you know sometimes like for example my mother she's got an airy stallion right and she gets very impulsive and just gets upset about anything and you could literally spill a drink on the floor and you won't stop hearing about it for a day like it's this crazy catastrophe i'm calling my mother out here <laughs> hope she doesn't watch this but it's this crazy catastrophe and it's like oh my god whereas i feel like they don't have that attribute like they're like they're, they're just like it's happened let's move on it's fine like you didn't mean it like it's cool like they're like that they don't let things that aren't you know like they don't let little things get to them that's the word i was trying to get out of my mouth they don't let little things get to them they're like it's okay we move on like life is life like do you know what i mean like just just let's just move on they're quite like that um they let bygones be, be bygones um to be honest with you um and with Jupiter as well, I feel like they are quite abundant. They feel abundant. They feel like there's some... They work with the law of attraction, it feels. Um, or at least they're aware of, like, what you put out, you get back. Because they're very optimistic. May have some Sag in their chat on ninth house placements. Um, so I'm going to pull these and get some physical attributes as well. Two seconds, guys. Let me sort out this camera. My voice just, like, went then. Is that cool? Are we cool? Can you see? Yeah, okay. Um, pile number pile number four. Oh my god, okay. What to drop? We had medium height that just dropped, so they may be medium height. Remember, with these guys just take them as they resonate. Uh, pile four. Oh, we have humor. Yeah, I picked that up. Like, this person's just a joker. Like, they are a joker. Um, They like to make jokes. They like to have fun. They like to just connect with their inner child. And they are responsible when they need to be responsible. I don't want you thinking, oh, my God, I'm marrying a child. No, like, they're very, like I said, there's earthy energy somewhere. But they like to, they like to see the light of side of life. They like to have fun. They like to live their life being fun. Like, they like to make jokes they don't take things too serious like that um cheekbones so they may have very prominent cheekbones very high cheekbones and maybe something you notice about them um we also have passionate as well so um they may be well i actually feel that they are very passionate towards you like they want to big you up like your their world like look at who i've got on my arm like wow like they feel like that and they do it like because they feel it but also because they want to see you smile they want you to know they want you to have your self-worth like on a hundred they want that so they do it for that as well as that's literally how they feel they want to make you feel like they feel for you that's what it is um pal for future spouse attributes oh why did you drop on the floor why okay so we have past life connection um so yeah we have past life connection i feel like you definitely have had a lifetime before sorry if you're hearing noises guys my chair is like really squeaky um but yeah i feel like you've definitely had a past life before um i feel like there's definitely all coming from you though like i feel leo somewhere I don't know. I just feel like your heart and soul are very connected. But there's, I, there, I definitely feel there's something about a misunderstanding when you first meet. Or just like, you may put them in their place or something like that. Because it's almost like you know your worth. And you're like, no. 
and it's funny because the way I'm being made to feel from it from a higher perspective like you're both of your higher selves like the way they're making me feel about it is it's funny like your souls find it funny that you would like annoy each other or irritate irritate each other or something like that when you first meet they're making me laugh about it like it's funny and I feel like when you get together it's like oh my god do you remember that time when we first met like do you remember when you told me off like it's it's, it's they're making me want to joke about it like it's funny um so it may have happened in another past life as well which is why they brought that up um and the other card that fell on the floor slow and steady that's your call they're gonna want to jump in towards you you're gonna want it to go slow and steady I feel like you're gonna tell them slow slow down like let's take it slow I'm actually being played this Skip Marley song featuring her, the remix of Slow Down. Um, I'm hearing that. Um, I feel like you're going to want to take it nice and slow when you're going to tell them, let's take it slow. But all it's doing is like amping up their like want for you, you know, uh, making them more like feel more passionate towards you, I'm being told. Um, why are they all falling on the floor? okay so we have deep yeah you guys are going to get very emotionally deep with each other like you have this it's actually a really nice dynamic that i'm picking up like you have this beautiful like inner child like fun carefree relationship but you know when to get deep like you get deep with your emotions you know when to do that and you have a lot of heart to hearts um and we have quality time you're gonna spend a lot of time together there's a lot of outings, I'm being told, dates and going for walks and getting out in nature and um, a lot of outings, I'm being told. Pile. Hello. We have gifts, yeah. So, you know, like I said, they may, um, they're going to want to pay you a lot of compliments and things like that. They're probably going to buy you, like, gifts of, like, um, you know, they may, like, like look at the clothes you wear or the jewelry you wear or like go down your instagram see what you're wearing take note of it and then buy things that they think you'll like like that they're going to be very generous like that um because they have a big heart pile like they're going to give the best i'm actually hearing they actually give the best like birthday christmas gifts you know like sometimes you get people and they just like know what you like and they just buy the best gifts so the only way i can explain my nan always buys the weirdest gifts for people and everybody is like she buys the craziest gifts why does she buy these gifts so like you know you know what i mean like oh my god who would think to buy that but me and my aquarius moon like her gifts to me are like gold dust like i absolutely love them she just gets me like that and i feel like they're gonna be like that with you like they're going to just get you in regards to like gifts and stuff they're gonna know what to um buy you and it's gonna be like your taste pile number four pile number four if you just Oh, we have Divine Feminine. Okay, so I feel like they're very much going to be into their Divine Feminine. I feel like they're going to be very balanced with their Divine Masculine and Feminine, but they're going to like be quite open with their emotions. I feel like they're very in tune with the Divine Feminine like that. You know what I mean? Very open with their emotions. Very um, connected to spirit, I actually just shared, actually. They're taking me to spirit when I say that. They're taking me to spirit and like um they may have psychic abilities but i'm being told like they have they may have psychic abilities but they don't know they may it's like psychic though like visions they may have psychic abilities you may even trigger psychic abilities in them i'm actually being told um we have smile i'm sure i said that for this pilot they had a nice smile a cheeky smile i said there we go yeah they kept showing me some smiling and winking. So it's like a cheeky smile. Um, look at that. We had spiritual. I literally just said I felt like it was more like a spiritual thing. And then we have spiritual there. Um, so they're definitely going to be open to spirit and, and all of that. Um, they're actually showing me tarot cards. I don't know whether you read tarot. Or they read tarot. Or you teach them tarot. Something like that. There's something about cards. They may even have like oracle cards that they pull. Because it's showing me like oracles. So they may have their own set of oracle or tarot cards. That's coming through for someone. Um, and then we have athletic at the back of the deck. So they are going to, um, I just heard they like to work off steam. So they like to, they have a lot of energy within them that they like to work off. So they very well may take care of their body. I did say as well, like I felt like muscles 
um especially for a meal like i felt like muscles like muscly arms so that actually kind of makes sense they may like lift weights or something like that um so that's all i have for you guys pile number four i hope you enjoyed um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did remember if you get a comment asking you to whatsapp for a private reading that is not me so make sure you report um i hope you're having a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching